Okay, so just to let y'all know what is going on, I was going to make a jig video, an in-depth video of the jig I use, the rod I use, the line I use to flip that jig to bluff like I've been doing recently on Chickamauga. Y'all been seeing me catch a lot of big ones doing that. And I was also going to make an in-depth video about Alabama rig fishing. So I started to make these videos and then I got behind where I had to leave. So now I'm not in Tennessee. I'm in another state, one that is a lot warmer. And I haven't told y'all what I'm doing here. You have to see this in the next video. And then, uh, but basically I got scraps from half an A-rig video, half a jig video. And I'm just gonna put that here, let y'all watch it. If y'all wanna see it, you can just watch the, the catches without the in-depth part of it. And as soon as I was gonna make this in-depth A-rig video, I saw Bass Quest do it, Alex Road Fishing did it, so I was like, there's no need for me to really do it because everybody around my area has already did it now, so I wasn't going to do that. I still might make the jig video when I get back and start flipping, but I'll always catch more on a jig. It's going to be February when I get home. We're going to be catching some giants on a jig. So anyways, the next video, y'all know why I'm down here where I'm at, and in this video, y'all just enjoy, and I'll see y'all at the end. January the 12th. Uh oh. Put in a grasshopper again. We're up here. It's trying to catch us a big one. So far, not so good. We got it's cloudy. Water's 50 degrees. Windy. Took me to catch some more reaction baits, but I'm flipping a jig. What kind of sense does that make? Oh my goodness. I never play fish that long. I just did it. I don't know what I was doing. It came off right there. But that's one of my favorite things about fishing in the wintertime. You can get so many jig bites in a day. After the water gets over 65 or so and clears up, you can't get very many jig bites all summer. Little spot ate it up. They like the jig this time of year, man, for sure. It's been like five more casts and I caught another one. Or got another bite. Alright folks, conditions have gotten right for an Alabama rig. The last time I fished an A-rig under these almost exact conditions, I caught an 8-2 off this out of this lake. Last time it was overcast like this. The water was 50. It's overcast today, the water's 50, but it's a month later now. It's January now. When I caught it, it was like end of November, early December. So we're gonna go throw around the A-Rig for a while out here on some of these deeper, steeper bluff banks and see if we can't catch us a big one. Hopefully we'll get one of those real big ones. I'm putting it grasshopper day. That's where I'm at right now because it's blowing, ha winds howling out there right now. So I had to come in here to actually talk to the camera, give any kind of an update. So I'm gonna run out here now, throw us A-Rig around, catch us some. And if I catch some on it, I'll show tell y'all how I set it up. So, but I'm, I'm not going to tell you if I don't catch some on it. Oh, hey, rig bass. Well, that one got a short steel plate. I felt it tick over the top of a rock. I just kept reeling it and I felt him not slack into it. Little sucker.
smallmouth, big smallmouth. Smoked that A-Rig. I wish I could have felt that freaking bite. Holy crap. I mean, I was slow rolling that sucker and he hit it like a freaking ton of bricks. That is so much fun. Love catching these dudes right here. Love it. Gotta buckle down and sling that A-rig around sometimes, I guess. Nice one on the A-Rig. Probably a four pounder there. Big, healthy wintertime bass. Awesome. We got a little bit of black lipstick on. <laughs> I told you they catch fish. <laughs> that was worth thirty dollars right there for sure. <laughs> Got my money's worth out of that one. Old battle scar. All right. The only other thing I have to say is, hopefully, this right here, this video you're watching, is the last video with those bad camera angles and bad audio. Audio shouldn't be that terrible on this one, but the camera angles are awful. So this will be the last one. I'm sorry about it, guys. We're going to fix it. We're getting it done. I got my new GoPro in already. Everything should be better. It's going to be a little bit more zoomed out, wide angle view. You know how the GoPro look is. But hopefully that's the last one where my head's chopped off. And I'm, every time I step back, you can't see half my body. So anyways, appreciate y'all guys watching. Hit that sub button. Hit the like. Hit the comment. Y'all want to see where I'm at right now? Y'all want to keep up with what I'm doing? It's going to be fun. So, as always, hit that sub button, guys. I appreciate it.